or something bad. But also, in legacy fundraising, there's some of the barriers. You might inspire someone to do something. You might get them to think, I could do that, I could make a difference, that's great. But there's one final hurdle. They've still got to update their will, and they may not have a reason to do so. We've just given them a reason to do so. Because to include Home for Life, and to let the RSPCA know, you've got to get a pull back, excuse me, you've got to put a clause into your will. So you've taken a, a big barrier and you've removed it. You've made it easy for someone to do the right thing by their animal and by the charity. Really easy. And what's more, we also know from behavioural economics that people who are reminded about the charitable gift at the point of writing their will are so much more likely to follow up on that early intention. They might think about it, but we all might forget. Something else, something else might be good. When you're writing your will, and you're thinking home for life, who else in your mind at the time? Your cat and the charity is going to look after you. 